Beauty, brains, success, loving friends and family. I mean, how is it that someone that has all those attributes might still be suffering inside? Because in an article from the New York Post titled, Tragic Suicide of Ex Miss USA Again Shows Corrosive Influence of Social Media by Maureen Callahan. Chelsea Christ, who won the pageant in 2019, leapt to her death, leaving the world speechless. Chris wrote for Allure magazine last year, and I quote, I can't tell you how many times I have deleted comments on my social media pages that had vomit emojis and insults telling me that I wasn't pretty enough to be Miss USA or that my muscular build was actually a man's body. Chris also had concerns about aging, saying she cringed every time she thought about turning 30, which really affects me. I mean, I can remember when I turned 30 and similar feelings of being old and undesirable because I couldn't keep up with the beauty standards of women who were a decade younger than me. And I can't help but hope that Chris's death will be a wake up call for everyone to start normalizing beauty and wisdom in all stages of a woman's life. And Chris, do you think that the tech giants and the government will ever start to address the solution to the toxicity of social media platforms instead of just focusing on the problem of them. Yeah, I think that's actually a, a great point that you're making, Marissa, because the last I recall, I think it was like four or five months ago, uh, Congress was trying to slam uh, Instagram because they found that there was a lot of teenage harm affecting young girls when they use the platform such as Instagram. And it's because, you know, you're always kind of comparing yourself to certain beauty standards. There's a lot of these, um, you know, filters that you can put on yourself. You know, you don't have to wear makeup for the day, but then you can look like this kind of shiny broad that, you know, you don't necessarily look like in real life. I don't necessarily know what the solution is. I don't know what the tech giants need to do on their behalf, but I think it's important to recognize when someone's in harm way that, it, it, it speaks a thousand miles when you can actually just reach out to your friends and family who you know or maybe suspect that something's going wrong. I mean, it doesn't go. I mean, what's wrong with saying I love you and giving someone a call instead of texting them? Well, and I think it all comes down to um, when it comes, there's such a safety blanket if we are attacking somebody online. Right. Oh, it's so easy to call out and be mean and have that because they don't actually we're not in person. And it's really yep. going to take us as a collective, as a society to stop that harmful behavior. I mean, think about this. Zuckerberg does not allow his kids to be on social media platforms. Right. You don't have um, Bill Gates doesn't. There's a reason right, that they're not allowing their children to access the platforms that they are making millions on and promoting because it's harmful, right? And it takes us as a society to send that love. Absolutely. To tell the people that we're there. And especially when you're a media personality like Chelsea, who had an amazing career going for her, being a lawyer, being on, you know, on the, an entertainment personality. It's just unfortunate because she is such a beautiful woman. I mean, she's gorgeous. And so, you know, just know that, you know, sometimes the most gorgeous people have the same struggles that you have. So just always look out for your friends and peers during these times. Yeah. And if you are having thoughts of suicide or know anybody that is, please call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. It is open 24 hours a day. There is someone to help you get through.